Hey everyone, uh, today I'm going to walk you through using Session Mod Manager. Uh, we have a lot of new people coming into the modding discord uh, asking the same questions. How do I get maps? How do I get clothing? How do I do it? Uh, so I'm going to walk you through how to use this um, and hopefully answer those questions. So after you download Session Mod Manager from GitHub, um, you'll open it up and the first thing you want to do is set the path to your session game folder. Um, that'll just be in your Steam folder. Uh, you could easily find that. Uh, the second thing you need to do is in this bottom corner, uh, make sure you patch with the easy PZ patch. Um, there's other tutorials that'll go through that. Uh, I've already done that, so I don't need to. Um, and so the first screen you'll see uh, is your available maps. And I already have a few maps here set up. Um, and I've gotten these over the course of a few months. Um, I've had to restart my map selection since the new patch, but that's not a big problem for me since I'm able to download all of them whenever I need to. Um, so the easiest thing that you could do uh, when you go to import, you can either do it from your local computer or from online. Uh, so first we'll do from the computer, uh, <clears throat> and you can easily just drag and drop files um, if they're a RAR or folder. Uh, if they're a RAR or a zip, make sure you click on that checkbox, otherwise it won't recognize it, it won't import. Um, you could also click the file browser and search for your files that way. I think it just takes a little bit longer. Um, so if we hit import, it'll take a little bit, um, but it should give you a confirmation message when it is done. Uh, so we'll just wait for that for a little bit. And here we go. Uh, so if we close that, our list should update automatically. And it looks like it did. Um, the second thing is when you right click, you're able to set a few different options. You can rename if you need to, to clean things up. As well as hiding from the list, deleting the map if maybe there was an issue or there's a new version out. You wanna make sure you delete it before you add the new one in. Uh, and then various uh, file explorer options to get to those maps. Um, also, you're able to set a second map uh, to load. And so the first map will load from this list when you start the game. And then the second map will load after you go to your apartment, like if you're doing some customization options or you're checking out a montage, whatever, and you load back in um, whatever this second map is and it'll set to that map. So you would just simply right click and then click that first option, set as second map. And you'll see down here that it's updated. So my first map is Brooklyn Banks. And then after I go to apartment and come back, I'll go to Clifton Hill. Um, the second way you can get maps is from the asset store. Um, and you can either do from online or you could just simply click over to the asset store um, and as soon as you open the asset store, you're going to be overwhelmed with options because the categories will be on all. Um, so if you're looking for specifics like just maps, decks, whatever, clothing, shoes, uh, you can filter those individually. Um, so I'm just going to go in here and grab a do long tour, uh, do tour. I don't know why I said that. We'll hit install map. It'll give you a little progress bar. And then a confirmation message when it is all done. Boom. We'll go back to the main menu and it looks like it added it right away. And again, you can do the same stuff. You can set it as the second map or the first map. Um, so once you're ready to play your map, select it, go over to load map and hit start session. Uh, so our first map is Dew Tour and the second map is Clifton Hill. I'm actually going to set the second map to Braille House because it's a lot smaller. Um, I won't have to wait for it to load. So let's see how this loads up. And 
and we should be in that new map that we just installed from the asset store. And as you can see, we are loaded up into our second map. That's a really nice option, so you don't have to close the game after every single time you want to change maps. Oh, too slow. Awesome. So next, I'll go over custom clothing. <clears throat> I'm sure you saw a weird ass hat in there. Don't worry about that. Um, again, first thing that we can do is a uh, local adding of clothing. So we can go over to this. This is just a hoodie I made a long time ago. Drag it into here. Again, you can use the file explorer. Uh, hit replace you'll get a confirmation message on the last file that it added or updated. Um, typically, when you're installing custom clothing or making custom clothing, um, there's there's a handful of files that it will replace. I think this just tells you the last one that it added. Um, and so it's also a nice way to know that it actually did add. Um, second, you'll see it in this Managed Installed Textures menu. And I feel a lot of people are not aware of this menu. Um, so if you open that menu up, you'll you'll see everything that you have installed just for clothing. Uh, so I have a few mesh mods that I had made, uh, some shoes, and the rest are textures. Uh, so here's that local file that we added. Uh, I'm gonna actually remove that dumb hat, and then we'll just do a load map again, start session. And then when we go to the apartment, we'll be able to find that clothing that we just added. Um, and when you do install new clothing, make sure to go through all the customization options. Um, because it's very likely that the shirt or hoodie that you installed is not using the same exact shirt or hoodie <laughs> that you were using before you installed. So here we go. So this is the, the Braille hoodie. It replaced the black hoodie. Um, that's just the way that the modding for it happened. I could have easily replaced the orange, the blue, anything. Um, it's just whatever is easiest. So if we go back and skate, you'll see we got that hoodie set up. Also on my character are the the mesh jeans that I had mentioned, um, and then a modification on the mid tops, as well as textures for them. Uh, the second way to get clothing is if we go back to our asset store. Um, you can switch to all of your skateboard options if you want to add anything for that or you can change things through shirts and decks shoes whatever you need um, and a few things to note when you're playing around with downloading these options um, I recommend that you turn off fetch all preview images um, that way you're not downloading every single asset store image when you open up the app, um, only when you click on something will the thumbnail download. So you can see a few of these I already had downloaded. 
Um, let's try to grab a new one. Oh, nice. Ah, here we go. So, loading preview image is downloading it. You'll even see that message in the corner. And there it is. Uh, the second option is delete download after install. If you're having issues with an item actually showing up in game and you've tried everything that you can, um, instead of trying to contact someone or get a zip file from someone, you can easily um, have this option off. And if you hit install shirt, it will go and add it to your session mod manager um, path. There's a folder called store data and temp downloads. So you see here is a hockey gray hoodie, which is the one we downloaded from Sir Smoke. Um, and this should have the same path as what you would get in the game. And there's your files. So that way you can determine that this was uploaded properly or not. So if you can tell that there are some files in a, a weird order or maybe the files are missing, that's the easiest way to figure it out from the asset store. So if we go over to our session game folder, we'll go to content, customization, character, mail, upper body, textures. Here's that hoodie again. Um, this is the one that replaced the gray hoodie. So actually, the braille hoodie that I installed, this will overwrite it. Um, even though this list shows that I have both hoodies, a lot of the clothing assets will replace the same thing, but not all of them, like I had mentioned. Um, so if you know you're going to install a new hoodie, make sure you go and remove it from your list first. And see, because I did a uninstall, it just removed that upper body folder and files altogether. So now I have no custom hoodie. And you'll also see that remove shirt is now gone as an option. I got some slow loading, that's my bad. Um, so yeah, when you know you have something installed, you'll see the remove option and the install option is grayed out. So other than that, um, every time you come into a new section and let's say something like this happens, uh, just because there's been an update to that section over the last few days or the last time you checked it, uh, you can easily just hit force refresh assets and it will fetch the JSON for all of the items in that list. If you are selected on the all categories and you do that, prepare to wait a long time uh, because it will fetch absolutely everything. And I just like to sort by update date. That way I can see what all the new stuff is that's come out since the last time I opened it. And again, easily install. And like I covered earlier, you can always go back to the main menu, hit manage install textures, see everything that you have installed for your character. It's always a good idea to recap. Um, remove something that you think might override something else. So these shoes, this is a custom mesh and texture, uh, and these replace the, the Volk A shoes for the male and the female. So if I go to install a texture for shoes and it replaces that, um, things might look really weird because the mesh is different than what the mesh is here. Uh, so a quick example of that would be these checkered bands. Uh, the, ma the material and the texture might look really weird on a custom shoe. <laughs> so it's, it's a good thing to know. Um, so yeah, hopefully that answers a lot of your questions, um, and good luck, and have fun modding.